Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mel from Harmony Hill Farm and we are in my kitchen tonight and we are going to can some apple pie filling. Uh, my daughter from Wisconsin called earlier this morning and she said, hey mom, what you doing today? And I told her that we got a lot, just an abundance of apples on our apple tree this year. Very blessed and thankful for that. Um, but I decided to do apple pie filling so she asked me to videotape it for her because she's wanting to learn how to can living so far away um, she's not here hands-on so we're gonna do it this way and I thought I would just share it with you guys now right now I have our quart jars in the oven I've already washed them cleaned them they're in there getting sterilized sterilized and I'll, you got to keep them warm Behind me, if you'll see over there, I've got some apples that I've got chopped up, got some more in the fridge. And on right there, I've got some water and it's gonna be boiling because we're gonna blanch our apples. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix up the um, gel stuff. So I always keep my recipe um, with me even Though I've been canning it for several years, I still need to keep it there. So it's just kind of how I do it. So um, now the water is becoming to a boil and I decided to use this pot to, to do my juice stuff in. So the first thing that you're, we're going to do is we're going to add five and a half cups of sugar. So I've got I keep my sugar in five gallon buckets with the gamma lids. So it just works for me because we use so much. So that's kind of what I do. So there's one, two, three, four, five, lid back on it. I'll move it over here. Out of the way. I keep it in here all the time anyway. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put clear gel in. Now, clear gel, um, you can get it at the Amish store or you can order it. So, whichever way. But I've got a cup and a half of sugar gel that I got in there. Cup and a half of sugar gel. Next thing we're gonna do is cinnamon. And I need a tablespoon of cinnamon. Don't laugh at me because my stuff is old. <laughs> I like old things. <laughs> so, tablespoon of cinnamon. And that's just how I keep them is in these mason jars of the stuff that I use a lot of. So the next thing I'm going to use is a teaspoon of, of nutmeg. So it looks like I'm gonna be buying some more nutmeg. Okay, teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm just gonna kind of mix it together before I pour my liquid in. So it's, you know, mixed already. Okay, now I'm going to put two and a half cups of cold water. Actually, let me get my other measuring cup. This one. And I just use tap water. We um, have well water, and uh, most people that can will tell you to use distilled or bottled water, but I use what's available because, you know, that's just how I've always done it. It's never really made 
any difference. So that's two and a half cups of water there. And then we're gonna get some apple juice and we're gonna put um, five cups of apple juice in it. good thing about the clear gel is um, it can be heated and reheated so it doesn't affect your pie and make it gummy and yucky. Three. Four. And the last one will be five. We're going to mix all of this together and then we're going to um, put it on the stove and we're going to bring it to a boil. So we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to cook it until it's, you know, pretty thick and bubbly. And then, and then we'll add some lemon juice to it. It already smells good. And you want to make sure that it's mixed well. You don't want to have it where it's not mixed because that sure gel needs to be incorporated in there. Of course, it, it'll all melt down and do real good, so I guess it's not a huge, huge deal, but I like to have stuff mixed. If there's anything big, I'll spoon it out um, against this pot and make it mix together. So, Alright, so get the stove lighter. We'll bring it over here, put it on the stove until it's bubbly. So when it comes to a bubble, the next thing that we'll do is put in about three quarter cup of lemon juice and use bottled lemon juice. Don't use fresh squeezed lemon juice because pH can um, be different um, with your fresh ones. So I would use a bottled lemon juice, always have. Okay, so as soon as this becomes bubbly and we get all of our apples blanched, and this is 10 pounds of apples. So after we get our apples blanched and this is bubbly, we're going to fold the apples into this. And then once we do that, we're gonna pack it in the hot, hot sterilized canning jars. And uh, uh, process them. So I'll bring you back. Uh, as soon as we get this done a little bit more. Okay guys, so we have exactly 10 pounds of apples in our bucket and I'm just about to blanch them and we will continue our endeavor. Okay now, I don't know if you can see it real good but I'm gonna try to show you. Uh, we've got the water good and boiling. We're going to put about six cups of apples at a time in there. Um, you bring it back to a boil for a minute. So it'll, they'll go in and you'll bring them back to a boil for about a minute. So once it starts boiling again, we'll uh, start our one minute timer. And then after they've boiled a minute, we'll pull them off and put them over, over there. Not in here yet. Not just yet. So the reason why you want to blanch them, because some, some people do a raw pack on them, but the reason why I blanch them is because blanching them will take out some of that air and apples are really really bad about siphoning 
And so the most air that you can get out in the beginning of your fruit, the better. So it started to boil. I don't know if you can see it, but it's boiling. It's almost back to a rolling boil, almost. My mom used to say a watch pot never boils. <laughs> Which has some truth to it. I literally, um, I have a metal um, vent thing over the stove and I literally have my a magnet on the back of my phone that is holding that on there. But why are you not coming back to a boil? I guess they were just so cool because I had them in their fridge while I ran to town to get the clear gel um, and they didn't have the clear gel. So um, luckily I only had 10 pounds total so I had just enough to do this batch but the next batch that I do I'll have to go I'll have to either go to the Amish store or go to um, online and get get them okay so now it's in the water it's going to come to a rolling boil and we'll process it for 25 minutes then it will be then I'll just leave them in there and not pull them out at all until um, they cool down completely. So, okay.